When Brantley Gilbert released his first project for Valerie Records last fall, he had high hopes but realistic expectations. After co-writing two number one hits for Jason Aldean, Brantley finally hit number one as a songwriter and as an artist for his hit, Country Must Be Countrywide. Kelly Lynn caught up with him and co-writers Colt Ford and Mike Deagle to celebrate that song's success. We caught it with Brantley Gilbert today for his number one. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? You're doing real well. I'm doing good, too. It's fun to be here. Now, this celebration, this is your first artist number one as an artist. I mean, you've had others as a writer, but how does it feel as an artist? Oh, it feels awesome. I'm definitely excited. This is real cool. All right. Now, when you guys sat down to write this, did you know from the get-go, you know, I think I want the world to know me from this song. This is going to be my first song as an artist or, or what we just sit down to write a good song you know and we uh we started the idea colt and i were just in mike we were all talking about how our tours were getting a little more north and northwest and how there were people it took us by surprise that a lot of people you know up north and northwest were country as us if not more country and they just had a different accent so we thought everybody needed a little bit of country credit so. So you guys walked in and, and started talking about it, and then the idea came about? Is that what happened? Yes, ma'am, pretty much. It was a cool process. That song kind of wrote itself after we got started, so it was, it was neat to see it come together. So in one session, you knocked it out? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, that's good when that happens. Mm -hmm. So like, as far as touring, because you're from the South, mm -hmm. and you basically started there playing a lot for around Georgia and Colt Ford's crowd. And, mm -hmm. and then how is that now that you have gone countrywide and you're everywhere? And, and you realized, hey, it's country music. They love it up north. They love it everywhere. Had you gone up north and played a lot before all of this happened? Uh, not a whole lot. We'd made some trips, but not quite the way it is these days. Just getting real busy. So. And how are your buddies back home? What do they think? They still treat you the same? Or are you now like the big star for your community? <laughs> Everybody's still the same. They know I ain't changed none. Must be Colt Ford here with another number one. Like, you two guys must have something, because every time you've had two number ones yeah. that we've met, you wrote it with Brantley. There's a, there's a little mojo there. Brantley and I were talking outside, and we both play so many shows. And I said, man, we should probably make a little more time to write some songs, because obviously it works. People obviously like what you and I come up with together, and, and, and then throw Mike in the mix with that. And it's just, yeah, it's been really, it's been pretty special. Yeah, now you guys wrote the song back a ways, didn't you? I mean, when you got together? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while back, and you know, it's it's been a long road for Brantley and I certainly to get where we are. And uh, it, again, it, having Mike, somebody that I've known my whole life, that's been so nice to me, and uh, you know, that I've grown up with, and then Brantley's got to be friends with Mike, and it, you know, you can't. There's no way to explain. Writing number one song is unbelievably lucky. I mean, there's so many great songwriters, and I don't know that I'm one of them or anywhere near it. I've been lucky that that's happened, but it, it's just amazing when you see your buddy that you wrote it with and you, and you sit down and write a song with your buddy and then watch him take it to number one is a little more special. Now, you guys sort of, correct me if I'm wrong, came from the same exact town, right? Well, Brantley's from Jefferson, Georgia, which is about 20 minutes up the road from Athens, and I'm from Athens, and Mike's from Athens, and so, uh, yeah, well, but he, Brantley actually lives in Athens now. He lives in Mike's old house right, oh across, right across the lake from him, so it, it's, uh, it's worked out. It's just worked out pretty cool. It really has. you better crank this up. here with Mike Deagle. Congratulations. A Thank big you. number one Thank today. Thank you so much, honey. I'm so excited about this song and um, was so thrilled with it when we finished it. Um, as Brantley said, this is going to be a, a record on my album or a song on my album, which you never know what the single is going to be until it's produced. But this is one we all three liked from the moment we finished it. Uh, and it's been a, you know, you, you write, I've been writing for three decades and finding the number one song. Uh, when there are probably 350,000 songs that copyrights are filed on each year in, in all genres of music. And you got to figure that at least 150,000 of those are country songs, and you have one that gets one of them 52 slots. 
it's it's like winning the lottery. <laughs> it is. Uh, it, it's it, a good day. It's a great day. It sure is. <laughs> it is. And now, Nick, you, is this the first time that you guys had all collaborated together? I know you and Colt might have written together before, but was this the first time that Brantley chimed in? I think this may be the first time that the three of us sat down to write. I don't remember any of the, and we obviously did after that, but this song, I think, was the very first one. February the 8th, 2008. All right. And so we're coming up on February, it'll be four years ago we wrote this song. It's one of our early songs. Um, so I'm, um, but I always thought it's going to be a big hit, big hit. And it turned out to be. Country must be country wide. It looks like to me they had a great time there at Nashville's Cabana. We still have lots more ahead, including a visit with a music legend up next. We'll talk about a special malt shop event when we come right back.